in this video we will learn what is congruency and also what are the different rules for triangles to be congruent first of all let us understand what is congruency congruency means identical equal in all respect the word congruency means equal in all respects so the word congruency means this congruency means equal in all respects all respects means shape and size and this is also called identical identical you know you must have heard you must have heard of identical twins identical twins means two children which are absolutely looking same shape size they are looking same they are called identical twins not every twin is identical so congruency means identical equal in all respect and the concept of congruency can apply to triangles can apply to rectangle can apply to square circle anything as long as the two shapes are identical equal in shape and size equal in all respect now when we talk of a triangle when we talk of a triangle so what triangle basically what are the main aspects of triangle triangle means what triangle means three sides and three angles three sides and three angles so if all the six, three sides and three angles of two triangle say this is triangle 1 and this is triangle number 2 so if all three angles and if all three sides are equal then obviously the triangles are congruent so suppose this is triangle abc and this is triangle def so def then we will say triangle abc is and for congruency we write this equal to triangle def so this is the symbol of congruency equal and then on top of this this is the symbol of congruency this is the way we write now if three sides and three angles are equal then obviously the triangles are congruent but in addition to that when we say three angles three angles means what as we know that the sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree so if suppose two angles are equal the third angle will obviously be equal so it is sufficient to say two angles are equal because the third angle will automatically be equal so similarly now in uh, we have seen uh, different rules and i will just summarize here the rules for congruency the first is called sas side angle side that means if we have a triangle and this is side then this angle and this side side then next angle and this side if this is equal so it means we draw another triangle we draw angle then we take side which is equal to and then we join these things
and we get another triangle DEF. Then these two triangles will be congruent. So the first rule is SAS side angle side. The second rule is ASA that means let me take a different color pen ASA. So let's take this triangle, this angle A, then S, and then another angle. So in any two, two triangles, if we draw this angle and then another angle, this angle A, 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 S, A. If, so this is, if A, S, A are between two triangles are equal, then again the triangles are congruent. So the second rule is A, S A true. The third rule is A A S angle angle side. So again so we take angle and then this another angle and this side. Angle angle side. So this is, so this was first, this was second and the third rule is angle, angle, side. Then this is the third rule. And the fourth rule is S, S, S. That means all three sides are equal. S, S, S. So this is the fourth. So basically there are four rules for triangle to be congruent. SAS, ASA, AAS and SSS. So these are the four rules. Let me put it slightly. A S A A A S and then S S S. So these are the four rules for triangle to be congruent. Now if all the three angles are equal, will the triangle be congruent? No. Because if all three angles are equal, the triangle could be like this. So you have a triangle which is like this and there could be much bigger triangle having all three angles sim same. So this is possible. So it means in two situations it is not there which is A, A, A. If all three angles are equal then the triangles are not congruent, then not congruent. And also another thing where the triangles are not congruent is S, S, A. So again, side, side and angle are equal, then also not constant. So what have we learnt in this video? We have learnt what is congruency. Congruency means equal in all respect, shape and size. And it is also called identical triangle. And congruency could apply to any shape for rectangle, square and circle. But in this uh, video, we are learning about the triangles and triangle, the basic measurement of triangle is three sides and three angles. And if all three sides and three angles are equal, then obviously the two triangles are congruent. And congruency symbol is equal to sign with a aspilon on top of it. And then we have four basic rules, side, angle, side, angle, side, angle, then AAS and SSS. So, in if uh, the, any of these four conditions is valid, then the two triangles are congruent. So, in the examination, when we have to prove whether the two triangles are congruent or not, we have to see whether any of these four rules 
are applicable so we need to work on that and remember that if all three angles are equal the triangles are not congruent thank you